Here at Jack Reddy Imagination Park, horses like Jose are helping out many people with disabilities. I'm Olivia gonzalez Britt, your community reporter in Nipomo, with more on how the organization Jack's a Helping Hand is in need of a hand to complete a major project. At 18 years old, Jose isn't ready to hang up his horseshoes just yet. He's a vital part of Jack Reddy Imagination Park's adaptive riding sessions for children and adults like Danica Mello. She's nonverbal, but she expresses herself by squealing and making other happy sounds like she did all the way from when we stepped out of the house. To, to getting here. She knew she was coming. She knew. Horses. She we said you're going to go ride the horse. Their walks embody a collective effort where parents, instructors, students, and Jose work together to empower those with disabilities. It's really a great way for them to learn to communicate, um, not only with the horse, but with the others. And that's what I've seen. Parents have told me that they're, they love to help after the, after the lesson. Behind the scenes at the park is Bridget Reddy, co-founder of Jack's Helping Hand, an organization that's provided support for children with special needs in the community for decades. And we really found that this is a beautiful community to live in, yet it really lacks some basics services and quality of life activities and programs for children with special needs and who are medically fragile. But despite being able to currently serve a dozen children through scholarships, the park remains a work in progress, heavily reliant on donations and grants to complete its next phase. The nonprofit is still short $1.5 million to finalize stage two of the park, which includes play areas designed for different age groups. It is just the funding at this point that we are waiting for, and um, we're so thankful for what we've gotten in the past, and we look forward to the future, but we are shovel ready. The Imagination Park Fall Classic in September will kick off the capital campaign to raise funds for the rest of the project. In Nipomo, Olivia Gonzalez-Britt, KSBY.